Welcome back to our Google tutorial series. Today we're diving into the heart of your digital classroom, the classwork page. So let me open up my practice class and I'm going to go to the classwork page right here. This is where you'll post assignments, materials, and more for your students. Let's get started on keeping it organized. The best way to keep your classwork page organized is to use topics. You can create topics based on units or themes, so you can group related assignments and materials under specific topics to improve clarity and navigation. For example, you could create topics like Unit 1, the American Rev Revolution, or Math Chapter 3, Geometry. You could also utilize general topics, so you could consider creating overarching topics like morning meetings and putting all of your information about your morning meetings under that topic or homework or projects to just categorize assignments that don't fit into specific units. Or you could implement a weekly structure. You could organize your classwork page by weeks, especially if you follow a consistent lesson plan format, and this can help your students stay on track. And you know me, I love emojis for visual appeal, so I'm going to show you how to add emojis to your topics to make them more engaging and easier to identify. So let's learn how to create a topic. All you're going to do is click on this create button that has the plus sign. You're going to scroll all the way to the bottom and then a little window is going to pop up and this is where you can add the title of your topic. So my topic is math games. I do want to put an emoji in the front, so I'm just going to put a space. So when I right click, the very top option up here is emoji. And then I can just start typing what I want. So I'm typing dice. And then it shows me a die that I can put in there. And then I'm going to click and then click add. So now I have a topic with math games. It's got a little emoji of a dice. So it grabs my attention and I'm like, oh, it's a game. When you see a dice, you think game or die. So now I have my topic. I can move these topics around. So when I hover over it, you can see the little um, outline that's there. And then I click and hold and then I can move it down under here. So I've got my class resources. So my Cami instructions, I've got some information about my virtual classroom and then my syllabus here. And then if I scroll down, I've got my math games and then I have assignment examples. So that's how you create a topic. One of my favorite things about Google Classroom is the, the ability to plan ahead. You can create topics and draft assignments for future units. So this is a game changer for staying organized and ahead of the game. Simply create the topic and add assignments as drafts under that topic and your students won't see them until you're ready to assign them. We are going to talk about how to create an assignment in the next video. So we got to get everything organized with topics and then we're going to start adding our assignments. Let me show you another thing that's pretty cool. So what this is, is I created a topic and I filled it with a draft assignment that can I can easily assign out if I'm sick. It's like having a built-in sub plan. I've got the sub plan folder and then notice this is a draft. I can see right there, it says draft. So when I'm home and I'm feeling sick, I can just log into my Google Classroom and assign this to the class. And students don't see this until you assign it. So that's how you create a topic in Google Classroom. It's a great way to keep your classroom organized for your students and for you. Be sure to like, subscribe, and ring the bell so you, that you get notified for future videos that I add. Have a great day.